What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on November 15th, 2018. Starting off, as always, with a focus on what is available now, the 10-inch Demogorgon, which is a Target exclusive, has been hitting stores. I've seen some people picking this up. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to add this to my own collection just because, of course, 10-inch pops take up even more space. But I really do like the design of the original Demogorgon, and that's essentially what this is, just a larger version of it. So, you know, Stranger Things fans, definitely let me know what you think about this, whether or not you're adding this to your own collection. I do think this looks much better than the last large, larger version of the Demogorgon that they did. I was not crazy about the design of that one but uh yeah just let me know what you think about this figure um also you see here the flocked head wig which is a gamestop exclusive is hitting gamestop locations i'm not sure about online availability you can check for that you know whether it's available online or not and if it's not at the time of this recording or the time that you're checking this out you know just keep checking the website or of course you know go in store um the rest of what you see here is focused on hot topic so these are all hot topic exclusives and that does include the christmas town sora also dean from supernatural he here. he's of course in the gym outfit you see there the holiday colors on the pocket pop of harley quinn and then hot topic girl i know some people have been asking about this one it's actually already in hot topic locations and it should be online very soon literally just a couple of hours um, after the time that i am recording this so again, with all these figures here, if you don't see them online right now, just keep checking the websites or of course you can go in store. Now focusing on Target here, tomorrow Friday from the time of this recording kicks off their Funko Fridays Holiday Edition. So do be on the lookout for it and the time to check each Friday is 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. So of course if you're not within that time zone you have to you know figure out what time that is for you locally. But again this will be website exclusives as far as I know. I'm not sure if anything's going to show up in the stores or not. But definitely check online to see what new exclusive they have each Friday starting tomorrow from the time of this recording once again there and you see here that you should be on the lookout for that 10 inch Pikachu um, some people have actually already picked this up some people are speculating that this actually is going to be officially their first Funko Friday release um, I really don't know and I'm not going to speculate on that because we're literally just a couple of hours away from finding out what's what so um, again they're going to have some new exclusives on their website and like I said we'll find out for sure exactly what's going on as far as Pikachu is concerned Moving along here, the latest um, item on the Funko Shop was the Funko Shop exclusive Flipper, which I'm still a little bit baffled about that release. And if you know about the other two um, Flippers that are available out in the wild, then you know why I'm a little bit baffled by that release. But regardless, if for whatever reason you haven't picked that up and added it to your collection and you are interested in it, it is available on the Funko Shop right now. You also see here two other upcoming releases, which includes Ronda Rousey. Of course, this is her representing the WWE, not the UFC, but the WWE. And uh, this one actually can be pre-ordered with various retail it is a common figure not an exclusive so you know just check with other with, you know whatever retail you prefer to shop with and see if they had that pre-order available then you also see here a glow in the dark guide Beetlejuice pop which is likely coming to go games calendars and toys and then this looks pretty official to me but there's no like a, a hundred percent official word on it but you know it seems pretty legit that this is coming soon Moving right along here, so with GameStop, they also have, and this is available to pre-order online, they have these Conan O'Brien exclusives. So we have here Conan and Lederhosen and also a K-pop Conan, and they basically fall up under this Conan Without Borders um, you know uh, basically a, a series that they have going on so i think there will be more of these but these two like i said are available to pre-order right now with gamestop on the website and in store as well and then also here you see the home alone pop and beanie that that set should release or that box you know should release with target november 16th so that's tomorrow from the time of this recording there's also going to be a separate sweater and blanket that will be sold in target stores Target Lady um, from Saturday Night Live officially releases on November 16th as well. And then you see here the black and white Pennywise with teeth and a T bundle is going to be exclusive with FYE. No specific release date, but that is something that should be coming very soon. 
Some more random bits of information here. So Barnes & Noble has already given out the details on their Black Friday sale relating to Funko. Now online, you can go online and buy one pop and get another one 50% off. That's just an online sale there. Then they're also going to have a discount on their Lord of the Rings box, basically $10 off of it. So, you know, if people can be patient, you can save $10 on that Lord of the Rings box. And then also it says 50% off of their exclusive George R.R. Martin Funko Pop. Okay, so again, those are the deals going on with Barnes & Noble for Black Friday. Also, you see here that there are going to be more LeBron James Pops. I'm not sure if they're all going to be still Foot Locker exclusives or if they'll be available other places. Hopefully, they would have a common in the mix. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. The Disney Treasures Lilo and Stitch box will release with Hot Topic on November 30th. So at the end of this month, be on the lookout for that. And then also with Lilo and Stitch, there is going to be a vinyl two pack, which is on the way soon. And you get an image of that here. Also, Funko did officially announce the My Hero Academia vinyl two pack, which is coming in December. And then the redesign for the Amphibian Man from the Shape of Water, that does seem to be pretty legit because you see the other variant of that figure there in the upper right. Still me personally, I am I really do not like this redesign and um, I know some people that pre-ordered that figure are maybe not so happy about that. I really wish, and I, I'm sure that Funko covers themselves and they put the fine print on the images, but I still really wish that whatever they put out there and you know they make it available for pre-order with retailers then you know that's what you should end up with you know this has happened before where figures got redesigned basically because i guess of issues with the property um with the um the rights for the figure or whatever it may be so yeah it's unfortunate but yeah it does happen sometimes Moving right along here, we see that there's more Rugrats related figures on the way. So yes, finally, Angelica is on the way and she does have her doll right along with her in her hand. So that's very cool there. And also you see Spike as well. And I like the way they have Spike there with the tongue hanging out of his mouth. They also have these dwarves, which are going to be released on the Funko Shop sometime soon. And you see that this does include Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica. So I'm not sure when those are going to release. Just know that those are going to release soon. But the pop figures, be on the lookout for those because they actually are November releases. Also focused on Nickelodeon here, you see that the Wild Thornberries are on the way. And of course, they don't have all of the major characters here, but those of you that are fans of the series, just be patient. You know, Funko does this. They will release, you know, figures in waves. So yeah, just be patient about that. I'm sure that the other characters will be produced eventually. I feel like I may have actually seen rough images of them upcoming as well. Maybe they were revealed at Funko Fun Days. But regardless, like I said, if you see you don't you see characters missing here, don't worry about that. I'm sure they will happen. And then also, hey Arnold, of course, you see these figures that some of these um have been available for pre-order for a while actually the ones of them in the costumes so banana arnold and strawberry gerald those have been available for pre-order with gamestop for a while because they are gamestop exclusives but those should be hitting stores very soon and then also just you know a regular version of gerald this is a common figure will be available very soon as well again all of these are november releases so focusing here on tv related pops we have Corey and Topanga from Boy Meets World. I, I really used to enjoy that series a lot. I still have some love for that series, actually. So I think it's cool to see the pops here of them. These are December releases. And then from Scrubs, we have JD and Turk. They are coming soon. No specific release date for them. I got to say the Turk pop is just dead on. That, that immediately to me looks like Donald Faison. So they did a good job with that pop figure there. And for anime fans, there are more Tokyo Ghoul Pops on the way. These are up for a December release. Um, I really like the designs of these. I think they look pretty on point, even though I don't follow the series. When it comes to the anime pops, I think a lot of them just look really awesome. I think Funko does a great job with them. For those of you that are fans of Tokyo Ghoul, you let me know definitely what you think about these designs, if they are true to the characters. So because um, endorsements or, you know, um, licenses can be uh, very expensive, I really wasn't sure if Funko would ever be able to do Michael Jordan. And it's still not 100 percent sure this is a rumor here, but if there's a possibility that Michael Jordan pops are on the way and that one of the variants will be a rookie variant of Michael Jordan. So we'll see if this pans out or not. You know, if this does happen, I'm sure a lot of people will be happy about that. You know, I've seen some customs of Michael Jordan, but I know it would be nice to have some official pops of him 
And yeah, that does it almost for Funko News. I'm not quite done yet. I do have some spoilers coming up, which I will give the warning on that before I get to them. But before I even get to the spoilers, I do want to talk about channel updates here. First of all, I'm still waiting on some more artwork, some more concepts for the live action TV characters, Funko Pop concepts. I've had some great artwork sent my way thus far, but I'm kind of surprised. There are a lot of characters that people have said that they want to see produced by Funko, you know, of TV characters. And yet I'm not really seeing those represented within the artwork. So if you are an artist, you know, please share your artwork. You can send it to the email address, fmfunkonews at gmail.com. And again, the focus is on live action TV characters. And as always, you know, here on the screen, you see the information. If you are interested in possibly seeing your image at the beginning of Funko News, you know, being part of the intro, you see the details of that here on the screen. You can pause that and read if you need to. So this is your spoiler warning here. I'm letting you know right now I am going to cover the what is inside of the Lord of the Rings box, which is exclusive to Barnes and Noble. So if you don't want to see what is inside of that box, do make sure you tune out of the video. And then I'm also going to address what is inside of the Black Friday boxes, which will be with GameStop. So again, if you don't want to see any spoilers for these boxes, Please make sure that you tune out of the video. Do not try to skip ahead because all that's left pretty much are spoilers. So again, if you don't want to see what's in the Lord of the Rings box with Barnes and Noble or the GameStop exclusive Black Friday box, please make sure you tune out of the video right now. So here we go. First of all, with the Lord of the Rings mystery box with Barnes and Noble, seems like it just includes uh, three items, two pop figures. One of them um, I'm not sure. I guess this would be the same for all of the boxes they have here. The um, Invisible Golem, which actually is an exclusive that has already been with Barnes & Noble for a while. So I'm really not sure why that's included in the box. That's a little confusing to me. But then they do have here Galadriel. Hopefully I'm saying her name accurately there. This variant of Galadriel, which is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. I do think this is a new pop figure. So that one makes sense to me. But like I said, I don't understand why that Gollum figure is within this box. And then you see also that you get one mystery mini as well. So, um... For people that really just want that Galadriel pop, I think this could be kind of frustrating that you have to buy the box to get it unless they do end up selling it separate at some point. But I don't know if that's going to happen. So I don't know. To me, it seems like they're just trying to get rid of other merchandise along with that one new pop figure. But definitely let me know what you think about that, especially Lord of the Rings fans. So next up here, if you just wanted to see what was in this box and not in the GameStop Black Friday box, again, spoiler alert here, do make sure you tune out at this point. So with the GameStop Black Friday box, the theme is going to be retro cartoons. And there are five possible pop figures that you could get. This includes Max from Goof Troop, Angela from Gargoyles, Wildcat from Tailspin, Megavolt from Darkwing Duck, Monterey Jack from Chippendale Rescue Rangers and each one of these pops does seem to have a chase variant for most of them it seems like it's just a different in colors with the, the paint jobs but with Megavolt his chase is a glow in the dark chase so I would imagine that's going to be one of the more popular ones also in the box there will be a General Mills Pop Pez dispenser also a plushie and from all the images I've seen I see the same plush in every box which is um, Tom of Tom and Jerry so I expect to see that going for about 50 cents on eBay in a couple of weeks. And then also there's a fourth item and I'm confused by the fourth item because it looks to me like a bag of glow in the dark stars. I don't know if I'm missing something there. What's going on with that? But I mean, that's what it looks like in all of the images. So yeah, four items all together. Of course, the pop is going to be that main item that people are after. And, you know, there's I know there's some Pez dispenser collectors as well. You know, pop Pez collectors that will be interested in those General Mills ones. And I guess the good thing about the mystery boxes, a lot of people probably will be selling those kind of cheap. So if you're trying to get all of those Pop Pez dispensers, just be patient. You'll probably be able to pick those up pretty easily and get all of those together. But uh, yeah, that does it for the Black Friday box. I do want to say this. If you discuss this in the comments, please be careful about spoilers for people that tune out of the video. So just be very careful about what you say in the comments. Um, you know, try not to ruin this for people that decided to tune out. 
So that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. As always, I hope that everybody got something out of it. Um, if there's enough information that comes up, then I will do another Funko News video this weekend. I'll just have to wait and see how much information there is. So, um, you know, regardless, though, there probably will be some more content up this weekend. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, like I said, I hope everybody got something out of this. Please remember to drop a like on the video. The support is very much appreciated. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.